I don't know. Someone said that Lou made some kind of comment, you know, piano boy breaking my, uh, you know, my bowls. I honestly don't know where it is. I'm not going to waste my life and, you know, go look through his uh, two hour streams or, you know, search for his videos for his negative comment. All I can tell you is this, Lou, even though XRP is up actually today, <laughs> it's up almost uh, 10 percent. It's 37 cents, Lou. Lou, nothing you say ever comes true, man. You see, you guys got to really sit down and analyze, Lou. Remember the clove run up? I don't think you, you all forget. That's what the problem is. You all forget. There are people that are still holding clove probably. <laughs> Lose it. Clove's going to 500. Oh, my God. You know, uh, Lou, uh, a a a AMC, uh, what's his brackets? There was one time where Lou was saying that AMC was going to like 10000 a share. I remember. Remember you said the true price of AMC in the dark pools is 4000 5000 10000 But then he started getting a little, I guess, uh, you know, realistic, whatever you want to say. And he started saying, you know, my real brackets of AMC is 500 to uh, 800 Then he said my second brackets are about 1000 to 2000 And then after that, you know. The sky's the limit, I guess, anything over uh, 2000 a share, right? Well, I mean, listen, you know I'm pro AMC, and you know I'm holding, and you know I'm never going to stop holding until those shorts are closed, but Lou, your managed event theories and everything that you came up with AMC has been wrong. Your GTII theories have been wrong. Your XRP theories have been wrong. Your Sundown theories have been wrong. So, I mean, I'm just trying to understand what is, like, <laughs> what is it about Lou? The dude can't pick a stock to save his friggin' life. I mean, you could get a monkey to throw darts at a friggin' dartboard, you know, the dartboard, you know, be, you know, filled with stocks, and the monkey will pick better stocks than Lou. I mean, I just don't understand. Seriously, I don't understand. The guy says he has 20, 30 years of Wall Street experience. He's broke. He has no house. He has no car. I mean, I can't prove it. It's alleged, but I believe he lives in a Section 8 apartment with his mother. Um, you know, we never see Lou eat a dinner. The guy most likely uses, again, it's alleged, food stamps. Goes to a bodega, gets himself some Campbell soup. Um, and another thing, isn't Lou like, like I know I joke around with No Limit Soldier, and I say he's about 60, 65. Lou looks a lot older than No Limit Soldier. So if, if No Limit Soldier is 65, Lou's 75. Lou, <laughs> Lou might be in his 70s, okay? You know, so I, I I mean, the guy's still living with his mom. I don't I don't understand the appeal of Lou. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't think I ever will. It's just one of those, the mysteries of, of the universe, why people watch this freaking guy who is an ugly, fat, you know, bald-headed, gray-haired, old man. He's an old man who can't pick stocks, who doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a friggin' pathological liar. The guy lies about the guy lies about everything. The, the guy lies about everything. There's not one single thing he's ever said the truth about. I own penthouses, I own two Teslas, I own Porsches, I bought GTI hundred thousand shares at sixty. Uh, you know, I bought a ton of AMC, but guess what? I don't need that AMC Moaz money. I'm going to give it away to a special person. I, I, I mean, this guy, it, there's just there's just nothing good about this guy. He is what's called a hustler, a con man. That's the bottom line. Video is not financial advice. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. This video is for entertainment purposes only.